Hello again, welcome to the next installment of the Gas Fire Project. So I've made some progress in my efforts to get this thing up and running again for the next series of tests. So on the engine, I um, had to replace some, a fuse inside here, got that done. Um, I, I freed up the intake valve that was stuck with a tar, tar buildup, got that all freed up. Um, I made a better rudimentary carburetor that I had in the past that I think is going to work a lot better and um, and a new flange to to mate it to the to the um, to existing carburetor of course I need the existing carburetor to serve as a as a governor to maintain the proper speed um, I replaced the hot surface igniter on the flare so now the gases that are produced initially are going to just flare ignite excuse me right away and flare off um, uh, over here, this is where I made my biggest efforts. So regarding the material that was left in the gasifier, um, I pulled it all out um, in layers in, in where it existed in the system. So let's take it from the top. So this would be the topmost. Um, so this is, this is material that was left in the hopper. So up there, so as you'd expect, it's just sifted wood chips. It hasn't been pyrolysized, if that's a word, yet. Um, just wood. This was the most troubling. This is, um, this is material that was stuck to the, to the inside surface of the uh, preheater zone. And to remind you, the preheater zone is here, right? So here's where gases are preheated. So, so that was stuck to the inside layer of the preheater. Um, and it took a lot of effort to get off. And so as I examine it, I see it's mostly like uh, pyrolysized wood that's stuck together with tar, tar that never made it down to get burned up. So like that, for instance, that's, so it's a, it's generating, it's obviously um, this pyrolysis going on, which is good but it's not finding its way down into the combustion chamber quickly enough and getting burned up. So that's an issue that I have to understand better. It's, it's as though uh, material is not moving through the system fast enough, one theory. Uh, so this is material that was inside the center of that preheater zone. So that was relatively loose. And as you can see, a lot of it is wood, partially that's been subjected to pyrolysis, not really any tar, it wasn't stuck together. So that's material that was moving down to the center as it was supposed to be. Moving down quickly enough to get consumed. Um, not exactly sure why. And then here, this is material that was left in the combustion chamber. You can see it's most, it's half and half charcoal and um, some tar and, and wood that hadn't yet been consumed. That's exactly what I'd expect to see. The third, the, the fifth pile rather, was what was in the, re, in the reduction zone down here. And that, um, not here, was just good old fashioned charcoal. And it was perfectly good. And when I reassembled the system, I put it right back, I put it right back into the, into the, to a seed as I call it, seed the, uh, the um, reduction zone with charcoal, right? And then I had to add some existing, some new charcoal to bring it up into the combustion chamber. And that's preceded now with charcoal that's ready to go. Then I added fresh wood chips. I don't have an example, but, um, but I've got bags and bags of it there that's ready to be sifted and sorted and be used for biomass. Um, you can see here these chips, so I, I, uh, I hand went through and combed uh, out anything that might cause bridging in the biomass, right? So after sifting and I give it one last check to make sure everything, uh, anything that could cause bridging is, is removed. But the biomass works great and it's just wood chips dried, sifted to a certain diameter. And that's what I use and there's no cost. And it's just, uh, you know, there's, an infinite supply of it around here.
Okay, that's it. So it's mm, pretty much ready to try out, and I'll keep you all updated. Uh, thanks again. Bye.